Real Talk Barbershop 870. Let's get it. It's your boy, Ro. It's your boy, Preach Boy Spam. It's your boy, BB the Motivator. And I am JR, a.k.a. Mr. Rogers. And you tuned in to Real Talk Barbershop 870. Let's get it. You did. Yes, sir. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Man, what's happening, oh, fellas? What's happening? Man, we back in for another episode. Oh, yeah. It feels great. Another too. episode, man. I'm on the <laughs> Tropical Cyclops, though, right now, though. <laughs> tropical Storm. What's happening? Yeah, shout out to Tropical Storm, man. Big man, shout out to Tropical Storm, home, man. we got the home team in here today, man. man. we excited. Man, we, man, we, we we extremely we excited. excited. We got some, man, we got some special guests in here today, man. Man, man. when they ask you great. who your team is, a lot of times teams say they, they be the Dallas Cowboys or something of that oh, nature. Oh, man, so yeah. slow down, slow down. Oh, Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. But 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 today and always, we my team agree. is. We agree. We all agree. D Blabber. Chickasaw, oh, baby. We you know what I'm saying? The home team. Yeah, the home shout, team. Man, shout out to the home team. Give it up for the chicken sauce. Give the the undefeated chicken sauce. The undefeated chicken sauce. The studio field day, man. They undefeated. Man, they undefeated. They ain't lost a game. Not no a game, question. man. They must ain't playing nobody good yet. Man. Man, <laughs> don't do us like that now. Don't do us like that now. We done played some talent. Uh, y'all already know. Man, Who we, we done beat that's in the good, though? Man, we done beat a lot of them. We about to, <laughs> <laughs> hey, we about to beat you in a minute, man. You know what I'm ah, Come on man, now. Y'all know chicken sauce at all. Right, no <laughs> doubt, no doubt. Man. B, who we got today? Man, look, man. Uh, it's major today, man. Uh I met this guy, man. He came in how many years now? Seven years. Seven years. Seven years ago, man, we became partners, man. Uh, he, he hadn't had a losing season. He got a great coaching staff, some great players. He always treated them like family. He always treated me like family. For and sure. this time, man, I'll make some noise for my guy, man, the coach of the undefeated Blabber TikTok coach. Undefeated. Undefeated. Period. Give it up for him. Yeah. Shout, shout out, shout out, shout out. Coach Period. Appreciate y'all. Always showing love, always showing love to me. Us out today, talking a little blah blah basketball. Appreciate you guys. Sure. Yes, Appreciate sir. you already. Who Damn. you got with you, Coach? Got Coach Salazar here, and the legend, Coach Tyre, right legend. here. That's what's the legend. Yes, sir. That's so make yeah. some noise yeah. for the yeah. assistant coaches. They, yes, sir. They keep me in line and help <laughs> help keep this thing running. We got a great staff, and uh, you know, obviously the guys got to put it in the hole. And uh, you know, assistant coaches off often a, a thankless job because a lot of their work's done behind the scenes. But man, these guys help make this thing go, and I appreciate them. Yes, yes, sir. We appreciate them too, we, man. We definitely sure do. do appreciate we definitely do. do. Yeah, Coach Coach Ty, he uh, used to always call my boy. Uh, <laughs> what you used to call him, Coach Wubby? Wubba. Wubby. Wubba. Wubba. <laughs> yeah, man. Got little Wubba. Yeah. <laughs> 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 He's talking about Shaylee. Oh, we got Shaylee. Yes, sir. Shout out Shaylee. Yes, sir. Yeah, we appreciate y'all too, man. Glad to have you, Coach D. Coach D the DJ, man. He be DJing. Y'all be hearing that yep. music? That's what we DJing at the game. Oh, That's right what's on, up, man. Yes, sir. Just trying to make that crowd, you know, jumping. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, I thought Paul was DJing. Man, he's going to be fire, Paul, man. I'm usually DA, DJ about tip off. Now disconnect him. That's usually Paul on it. That's what's yes, up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. That's what's happening. Oh, you get all the good songs in. Yeah. Trying to. Just trying to not get, you know, get in trouble for it. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. After That's that, it, after that, it's just who you with. <laughs> right, right, right. But coach, tell us about the season so far. How's it going? So far, so good. Mm-hmm. You know, it's crazy. You look up, and you're not quite halfway to the halfway point, but we're we're getting there. And uh, it's been a whirlwind, but it, you know, off to as good of a start as you can ask for. Yes. We've played some tremendous competition. Twelve and zero started out so, with, so. with West Memphis, and then. Uh, went up to Peoria in the Tournament of Champions, which I know people have talked about, but 65 guys in the NBA right now who played in this event wow. in high school, awesome. 95 throughout history who have been drafted wow. or played in the NBA out of high school were this in this event. And, uh, you know, I didn't really know what we were getting into, but we went up and played some of the best basketball we, we've played in years. We beat a, a prep school out of L.A., a private school out of yeah, L.A., one amazing. of the biggest uh, public schools in uh, Miami and a, and a public school out of Chicago. Went up wow. there and went 4-0. and oh, And um, not only did we do it, but, we, you know, we did it with some adversity. Uh, Jeremiah Wells, who had a really good first game, has had a great – uh, season four is this so far. Up? Woke up on day two, sick, wow. and wasn't able to play game two or game three. And mm. uh, guys stepped up off the bench, and, uh, you know, which yeah. gave us a lot of confidence as a coaching staff to not only be able to win those games, but be able to win two of them with a man down. And then 
Uh, you know, we came back home and took care of Rivercrest, had the Chickasaw Classic, and uh, took care of Springdale Harbor and North Little Rock, two of yes, the sir. biggest uh, school districts in the state. Oh, and cool. then now awesome. we look up and we're undefeated in conference and getting ready to head to Southside tomorrow. So. Yes, sir. Yeah, well, so yes, let's, sir. Get a, let's get up. Man, let's get up. We got to get up. Outstanding. That's crazy. Yeah. That's amazing, man. And, 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 and you brought the – not only do you got the coaches, you got the team in here too today, right? That's right. I think we got pretty much all of them except for, uh, I believe, Billy Davis. You know, he, he can't miss Billy Billy Senior <laughs> sermon today. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, uh, we got we got everybody everybody in here. And, like I said, it's a great group of kids. And, uh you know, I'm just very fortunate uh, not only to have good players, but but they're good kids, and we enjoy coaching them and being around them. So Wait. with the uh, tournament y'all just left out of uh, Illinois, is that the first time Blavel been in that tournament? Yes. I yeah. mean, it's a it's a type of deal that, I mean, I mean it's kind of a once in a – I mean, I highly doubt I'll ever get invited. Really? really? You know, to, to coach So back. you was I mean, invited to it? Oh, yeah. It was a I – mean, there was a big contract. We were invited to it. The guy reached out. I think actually – Coach Tyre was over in the old gym what last spring, and the old office phone over there rang, and it don't it don't ever ring. And he <laughs> right. picked it up, and it was some guy from from Illinois had heard about us, and somehow caught some of our games last year, and knew we had you know pretty much everybody coming Went back. Down and, four and, oh. and that's how how we got hooked up with him. And when he called and was telling me about all of it, you know, I didn't, you know, I didn't necessarily really believe him. Then right. I started looking it all up and seeing the history of it, and it was. It was a really neat event. Like I said, you walk in, they've got posters of all the NBA players and guys lined up throughout the lobby that have played in it. And um, uh, it was a really neat deal after the game. That they were treating our kids like NBA guys. That's they were begging up. for their socks and headbands wow. and, hey, and what's towels up, and all that. So it was, it was a That's really good deal dope. signing autographs. So it was it was a really neat deal. Wow. Yeah, they had a whole table set up on the side for autograph station. Like, for all really? the kids are waiting in line for all the games to be finished with. So it was a good ordeal. Wow. That's wow. awesome, man. That's really good. Awesome. hanging up. You know, Zion. Williamson, Anthony Davis, Tyler Hero. Like wow. I heard them cats have played in before? Oh, yeah. Did really? LeBron's son play in there last year or the year before last or something like that? I'm not sure I'm not exactly. sure. I thought I, I heard that. The last Arkansas team to play in it was probably about five years ago when Jalen Williams was at the Fort Smith Northside. Gotcha. He's currently, you mm-hmm. know, gotcha. with the Oklahoma Oak- Oak- City yeah. Thunder there playing with the Razorbacks. So it may be the only other Arkansas team that's ever that's been, all, honestly. Yeah, that's all I know. So of. it's been some major players. In the oh, NBA right time. now, they've yeah. been played in Yeah, it. there's a bunch. There's 65 that's either on an NBA roster or on a two-way contract right now. Or wow, they just crazy. got drafted this past year. Wow. And we oh. played in that tournament. We and we won. won. And we won, won at that oh, no. Man. Chickasaw, baby. The nation. Shout out to the Chickasaw, <laughs> man. Chickasaw, man. I'm telling you. For you sure. either chicken saw or nothing. That's what it is. That's, that's, that's how we feel. That's how we feel. That's what's Coach up, Todd, what's up, man? Coach Todd, what's up, man? You got something? Man, tell us a little bit about yourself, well, Coach. I know you got a long history of coaching, man. <laughs> well, I came to Blyville in about 1981. Mm-hmm. I coached the Suns. I yeah. come from UCA. And I had a guy on there named Dwight Weaver. <laughs> well, guess what? Now, his grandson... Keyshawn Washington. Oh, wow. Here. Really? Wow. Wow. That's what's up. Here, man. Wow. I always really, uh, when I started out in coaching and stuff, I always wanted to coach at Blyville High School really? because of the tradition and, and, uh, and saying, I think it was in 1960, I don't know if y'all were in the old Chickasaw, old Chickasaw gym, I sat up there and I watched Leachville and Bar City play for the state championship. And that was that was one of the great things, just being in that. That was a palace then, wow. compared to everything anybody else had. Wow! So, you know, I, and I, I came back. I got to come back to Blau as a coach in '05 with Coach Hicks, and then, you know we won the state championship. Right. And, Okay. So, coach Hicks. Shout out to Coach Hicks. Yeah, shout out to Hicks. Shout out to Coach Hicks. That was our coach, BB. Yeah. Shout out to Hicks, dog, man. <laughs> we're gonna take we're gonna pause just for a minute and pay a few bills for our sponsors, y'all. We'll be right back to you in just a second. Hey, what up, world? It's your boy Preach Boy, man. I had to pause and let you know that this episode of RTB870 is sponsored by no other than OMG that's sweet. Home of the Love Berries and the Pinwheels. The Amare Series Chicken Salad is the number one seller at this moment. They always incorporate the word love in their menu and their food. The lemonade line is made by the mother-in-law and is no doubt the best in town. OMG, that's sweet. That's right. 523 North 6th Street, Blyville, Arkansas. Call and place your order at 870-824-6178. Shout out to Leon and Shamika Jackson. Peace. This episode of Real Talk Barbershop 870 is sponsored by 870 Trucking. Where they specialize in general freight. Give us a call at 870-278-2934. 2934. Yes, sir. You did. 
We back. We right back. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you kill me every time you do that, right? <laughs> Boy, you crazy. Well, look, coach. Co- I know uh, that uh, we 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 got you got some players in here with you, and I know we just got our coach, Coach D, Coach Ty. Uh, you got a couple players you want to bring up and just introduce some of the players to the. To, you call, uh, you see them, call them out. Who you want? You bring them, bring them on up. Just here. Bring them stars Come on, up Makai. Here Makai yeah. and Travis. Come on, Makai and oh, Travis. Gonna do like start that? off, Makai and Travis. Let's get it. Let's get it, man. Let's Let's get get it. It. Make 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 it. Yeah, Lock down. Come here and bring that defense. Bring that dog. Tell, tell us about these two players here, coach. Well, these are the guys that names usually get called first off the bench. As long as they're revved up and ready to go, they're usually the first two off the bench, I should say. But uh, really good kids, steady Eddie. Mm-hmm. You know what you're going to get each and every day out of them. And uh, they're both, you know, really good defenders off the bench for us. You know, Makai can come in and, you know, he can guard the ball, guard a shooter. Travis yeah. can come in and he's kind of like a Swiss Army knife. He can guard a little bit of everything. <laughs> That's what's and, up. Uh, you know, offensively, it's kind of he can come in, help help run the show, and again, Travis can come in. He can play the wing. He can play play down low, mix it up a little bit. So, uh, these are guys that uh, you know kind of were in similar roles last year, and uh, they've they've done a good job not only accepting their role but starring in their role. And uh, you yes. know, like I said, they're really good kids and really hard workers, and I, I'm real proud of them. Yes, sir. Well, what's up, so, 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 Travis? You got something, so, Travis? Man, tell us, tell us song, something man. about it. Yeah, tell us a little bit, man. What what, what brings the dog out in you, man? <laughs> man, you gotta get Nick because you're gonna pick that hurdle. <laughs> man, where that shot come from, man? Boy, you shooting it real good, man. I remember you was about in eighth, ninth grade. You know, we go back. I've been knowing Travis since they was little. And I seen Travis shooting that shooting that ball, man. I said, God, Lee, where it come from, man? Hey, he ain't half it then, man, back then. No, but not back then. But now, <laughs> he, he sure got it now, boy. That, hey, you can shoot and he shoot it. You know the what I'm confidence. saying? Confidence, yeah. man. Like you, like, hey, look good out there, boy. You look good out there. And Makai, same thing, man. I've been knowing you since you was a youngin. You know what I'm saying? I, me and your daddy basically, you know, grew up together and stuff like that. And just to see the kind of player you became, uh, it's exciting to watch you watch you guard. You know what I'm saying? Guard the ball. And you, you always – he'll get in the trenches. You know what I'm saying? You one of those players, and that's good. <laughs> you gotta have those kind of players on your no team, yeah, man. Sure. And that's that's McCall sure. all day, man. That dog. So that's both of y'all dog, seniors. No, you're a junior. Okay. Oh, we got okay. you back okay. next okay. year. Okay, cool. cool. That's what's up. Yeah. So how I feel to be a part of uh, a team that's number one in the state right now, uh, undefeated. It feels good. We work for this. All them hard days paying off. Okay, that's yeah. what's up. We're just getting back for last season. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. So, as if, if you can look at your game from a couple of years ago to right now, uh, what would you say you improved most at? Uh, I'd say my playmaking ability. Okay. Back then, I would ask him, like, she's turned over the game. Now, I'm like, that's going to be a big difference. That's what's up. Coach, do you, you think that's what you improved at the most? Yeah, I think, you know, we spend – you know, you ask Travis about his shooting, you know, we spend a lot of time in the gym. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, every now and then they get in their feelings out there, and I said, well, you're going to thank me later. Right, and, absolutely. And, uh, you know, and every day, whether it's May or August or October or the week before the state championship, like, they know when they step in the gym, like, it's on. Mm-hmm. And if it ain't on, it ain't going to be real fun for the next couple hours. That's right. And, That's uh, you know, we spend a lot of time working on everything from – even if you're a guard posting up or you're a big shooting the three ball and just think all the time in the gym. And, you know, my biggest thing with these guys is, you know, how we score, how we go about offense doesn't really matter. It's all about playing off of each other, being able to get into the paint, whether it's off the drive or off a post up and being able to have five people out on the floor who can make plays. And and I think these guys have just, you know, over time became extremely uh, well-rounded basketball players. That's what's up. That's good, yeah. Trav, we ain't heard from you yet, man. Good luck. Tell tell us your strengths. Tell us us your strengths. Tell us your story or something, man. How you improve your shot? I don't know. It came out of nowhere. When I first started, like, learning to shoot, like, eighth grade, but they didn't start to blossom until, like, ninth grade. Mm -hmm. But I think I I shot better in ninth grade than I do now. You think so? 
We need that ninth so, grade trap. You, you, you want me to tell him why? Tell him, Coach. Tell us, Coach. I heard, you know, I heard a rumor, coach. coach. I want to know. I, I was going to see what he's going to tell me a little something. But go well, ahead, Coach. What, what is it? Well, here's the deal, and this is where I really fell in love with Travis is, you know, the way our school system, our athletic programs are set up, it's really hard for me to uh, have time really to work with the seventh through ninth graders because we don't have – like most schools our size have athletics program for the head high school coach, either to be in there with them at first period or fifth period or whatever. But at Belival, it's always either been eighth period, which is when we practice, or after school. So in the ninth grade, in the fall, when those kids are ninth graders, is about the only opportunity that I really get a chance to work with them. And so we just kind of incorporate them to what I have going on with my varsity off season from the start of school till about middle of October. Well, as things started heating up, all those other kids in his grade decided they were going to stop showing up because it was too hard or they ran to the football field or they just started disappearing. Mm -hmm. Well, by the end of it, Travis was the only one staying in there, and we wow. kept him in the gym with us till almost November. Wow. And he was in there, I mean, going at it every day. That's and, uh, you know, it showed. And as soon as it was his time to come to the high school team, he, he was just ahead of the curve of everybody. Yeah. He put their work in. He put it in. He put the work in. He wasn't scared. He didn't shy away from, mm -hmm. from, from being around. In. And I thought, um, and I thought he may think he may he may have shot the ball better that off season, but I thought he's had a better, a much better tenth and eleventh grade career than he did as a ninth grader. And I just think it had a lot to do with playing in the structure and the intensity with Facts. the high school team. It he is. had a hard time going back down with some of the ninth graders that year that you know wasn't quite as in tune with you know, the intensity and effort that it takes to win basketball games. But, you know, that's a, it's a great example of, you know, it's not about where you start. It's about the work you put in that's to right. get to the finish. I believe so, that. Yeah. No doubt. Travis, you most definitely shooting the ball better now because I, I know you. You you shooting the ball way better. <laughs> He's now. shooting that thing. I tell you, 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 you're confident. You know what I'm saying? That's and, up, and that's a mindset. Like, it's all about your your mental. And you most definitely shooting the ball way better now. That's what's up, Super proud of you. Year. Yes, yes, sir. And he coming back next year. Yes, sir. Man, yeah. let, let, let's get Trav and Makai here. Yes, shout, shout out to these players, man. Shout out to them. Yeah. 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 Man. TJ. Appreciate y'all, man. TJ. Oh, What's happening, little cub? Too? Man. We got TJ and Beans. Man. What's happening, little cub? I think Beans said he will ready to eat. TJ the charge king, man. <laughs> TJ the charge king. You so fast. Sir. Now, TJ, now, TJ, man, his daddy was my best friend, man, growing up. Roosevelt, that was my man. That was my big brother. That was, that was my big brother, but that was my brother. Roosevelt, was my brother, man. I, I I seen TJ when he was born, and to to he is what he at now. Man, your daddy be super proud of you, man. That's you look up, just man. like him, man. You look just like him too. That's what's up, man. And my boy Bing. TJ, you a senior? <laughs> you a senior? You coming back too, huh? Uh oh. That's what's up. Tell man. us about these players, coach. Man, two starters here for us. Both were uh, key contributors last year. TJ's probably – I've been here seven years, and I made the, maybe there's been four or five kids maybe in that seven-year stretch that's been three-year starters for me, and, and he's been one of them. Right, shout um, out. And then Beans last year was a, was a – and what a lot of people don't realize is not only have I not had many three-year starters, but I haven't had many 10th graders, period, that have been really? able to come in and really play for us. And, wow. And uh, Beans here was one of those guys last year. He was one of the first guards off the bench last year as a 10th grader. And uh, he's a really good player. He continues to grow. Um, you know, offensively, he's gotten a lot better with his ball handling and playmaking. And he, he's always been able to shoot the ball and, and guard. And so TJ is just kind of, again, kind of like I referred to Travis, kind of a Swiss Army knife for us. He can do a little bit of everything, guard a little bit of everything. And yeah. uh, his offensive games came a long way. And, you know, he's he's always – you know, one thing about TJ every game is that he's going he's gonna to go hard and he's going to bring the energy. Yeah, I love it. it, man. I love it. If, not, if nothing else that day, you know he's going to come and he's going to bring the energy and his teammates feed off that. And he's – one thing about TJ that, you know, I, I share, you know, as I talk with, I mean, probably there ain't a week goes by that I don't have a conversation with five or six college coaches from, I mean, NAIA level, all, you know, all the way up. But, um, you know, the thing that to me about TJ that kind of separates from some of the other guys is, you know, and these guys can tell you, I, you know, when we get ready to play a game, I overwhelm them with information, scouting reports, tendencies, uh, what they do, every play they run, the name of it. 
And TJ's one of the few guys that I can honestly say since I've been here, like he watches film on his own. He's going to know that scouting report. If if the team calls out the play and I don't hear it, he's going to be communicating it to his teammates. And uh, But both these guys are, are key contributors for us, and, and we're glad to have them. Man, that's what's up. TJ, where that aggression come from, man? Hey, I love it out there on the court, man. You be you be hype, you be turned. Beating your chair. <laughs> <laughs> where it come from? Oh, shoot. You just came. You just, I love the game. That's what's game. up. That's what's up, man. I remember TJ, man. Uh, you remember when we started healing the hood league? Yeah. Y'all was like, yes, sir. I think y'all probably was the first group, maybe. Y'all for the graduate now, but I think y'all was the first group when we started healing the hood league and what. If TJ had developed, because boy, if TJ get hurt, man, here come Tiara. Man, I mean, anything. <laughs> TJ hit the flow. Here she gonna walk all the way around the bit. Hey, mama, walk. baby, <laughs> y'all, y'all, you okay? Like, man, you know, like her and Biggie, boy, they couldn't see out eye for nothing in the world. <laughs> but man, just see this group, just see y'all come up and see you how you worked hard from a young man. Like, I think you started fourth grade, third or fourth grade when we had the. You coach him too, Jay? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. 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 Yeah, too. So, what, man. what you see different, Jay? Man, I, when you coach him in now. Man, he pretty much the same. He always gave a lot of energy. energy yeah. yeah. Oh, they yeah. always yeah. gave a lot of energy. Now he just he great offensively as well. You know, he's a he, he you know, he's gonna put in the hole. Yeah, he's no doubt. He's gonna take that kind of, He almost kinda of remind you of like <laughs> seriously, like they, they probably don't know this player, but he kinda of reminded me of Dennis Robin to a certain extent because he always hustling. He'll dive on the floor. That's the type of stuff that Dennis Robin did. You know, so yeah, no doubt, man. TJ, you He's special. He's he another one of those players that are going to them trenches, man. He, yeah. He'll get you a, yeah. a rebound when yeah. you need it and, and make a defensive play when you need it. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And Beans, man, Beans. you don't show no emotion. When you playing, you just you don't show no emotion, man. <laughs> what is it? What you just you just calm, cool, collective? Because you don't show no emotion, man. Yep. Used to it. <laughs> he put that shot in there, though, boy. Yeah, the whole crowd be, ooh. Uh, yeah. you, just, you just expect it to go in. No doubt. He read it, man. What's your work ethic like? On your own, aside of what coach set aside, we know TJ White film stuff. What's your work ethic like on your own? Uh, great. You got better mm-hmm. than last year, really. That's what's you up. agree with that, coach? Yeah, I mean, he knows, and I ain't going, you know, I, I don't. I'm just America's honest honesty broker over That's here. Right. So, you, you know, his biggest thing is just his battle within himself. Yes, sir. You know, when he's – when he's locked in and he can, you know, block out all the distractions and he's, sure. he's got his head on his shoulders, you know, he can do whatever he wants with his yeah. basketball stuff. Right and I think that's part of, you know, I think for him, I know he ain't going to say it, but I think when he's in the game, that's kind of his his outlet to, you know, release whatever, you know, bad stuff sure. that he may have going on mm-hmm. or emotions that he has going on. I yeah. think that's kind of like his safe haven. So, you know, our biggest thing with him, my biggest thing to him is just trying to be that person, you know, more off because he's a I tell you, he's a really good kid at heart. He's probably going to tell you all to cut that out of the camera. He may not want people, people to hear that. <laughs> but deep down, he's a really good kid, and yeah, he's well, a really, he is, really man. intelligent yes. young man. Yes. And, uh, I mean, if we all sitting here and y'all made us take an IQ test, I'm adults included, he, he may would have the highest IQ of wow. everybody in this wow. room. Again, he may want that clipped out. Wow. But he's, he's a really – he, he can do a lot of things with his life. It's just up. It's just up to him what he wants to really do. That's we keeping that in there though. Yeah, yeah we, we keep it in there. And we also want you to know that man. No, no matter what, like you know, I'm from the trenches. We all from the trenches, right. man. Sure. It, was, it was one time when we felt like we had something to prove to the world. The only thing you got to prove to the to the world is what you prove to yourself. That's it. First, damn the world. Yeah. If it don't, if it don't, if it don't make beans, it don't make sense to beans. It don't make sense to nobody. So man, all this stuff that we thought was cool one day is really not cool. It's cool with me on my own business. I don't got to sell nobody dope. I ain't got to work nobody job. Work for myself. I make yeah. my own money, same as sure, like my sure. brother. Yeah, no now that's what that's what that's what being yeah. yourself is really like, bro. You know, saying we don't got nothing to prove to nobody. So don't let nobody make you feel like you got to be a certain way. Be the way Beans was created to be. You be yourself. And that's for all y'all, though. Yeah, yeah. that's for yeah. Coach, man, sure. big ups to you too, man, because. All coaches ain't like that. A lot of coaches just care about what's, what's happening on that court. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But we need those coaches to care about not just on the court, what's, out, what's happening outside the court. You know what I'm saying? So, man, y'all, hey, when I was in the 12th grade, man, I can't even tell all this story. But, man, I was I was a starter. Went up, went to the penitentiary instead of going to college. Did eight years. No doubt. And a lot of people don't know that. Outstanding athlete, too. You know too. what I'm saying? Yeah. I was yeah. starting quarterback. Starting quarterback. I was starting Hooper, shooting guard. Baseball. And starting pitcher. And went straight to the penitentiary. All that talent, man. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I know what y'all guys deal with, but I want y'all to know, man, y'all can defeat 
all that. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Just try to stay focused. Listen to your coach. Coach, it's going to seem like it'd be hard on them sometime, man, but just keep listening to them. I swear they want, they want the best for you. That's right. what's up, man. But shout out to y'all. Y'all doing an awesome job. Shout out to y'all, man. Let's give an awesome TJ job, and man. man. CJ and Bean. And, and coach, let them go eat some more chicken. Yeah, go, we're going to go to break real quick, pay these bills yeah. real quick. One more time, we got to shout out our, our, uh, our sponsors. sponsors. Our so sponsors. we'll be back with you in one second. Hey, what up, world? It's your boy, Preach Boy Span. And I'm going to let you know that this episode of Real Talk Barbershop 870 is sponsored by Tropical Storm Daiquiri Bar. That's right, Tropical Storm Daiquiri Bar. They located at 418 West Ash Street in Bliver, Arkansas. 418 West Ash Street, Bliver, Arkansas. You can contact the staff and place your order at 870-281-2170. That's 870-281-2170. Man, head on down to Tropical Storm Daiquiri Bar and grab you something to eat or something to drink. Man, I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Peace. Hey, what a world, man. It's your boy, Preach Boy Span. I got to let you know that this episode of Real Talk Barbershop is sponsored by no other than Magic Mouse Water. You heard me right. Magic Mouse Water. Look, he already put a stamp on it. Whenever you sip, you drip. Look, man, contact Robert Moss at 870-281-7707. 870-281-7707. Instagram, Magic Moss Water. Facebook, Robert Moss. Email, magicmoss0 at gmail.com. Man, get you some of that water so you can drip while you sipping. Preach. The things you done did, you know what I'm saying? And, like, people on the outside, they don't even see it. Right. But, you know. With BB, you and BB being so tight, we know, you know right. what I'm saying, that the stuff you deal with and the stuff that you have done for these boys. Right. And a lot of people ain't going to do it. Right. No, we I most definitely it. appreciate you. I appreciate it. It's just, a, it's just been, a, it's a blessing been, a, it's been a calling for me. And, uh, you know, I was lucky to, you know, my coaching tree is Mike Anderson, then his mentor is mm-hmm. Nolan Richardson. Mm-hmm. And that's, I mean, right. wow. you, know, oh, that's, you know, that's where I learned and – so, you know, I didn't come up through maybe the traditional white basketball tree. Mm. And so I learned a lot, you know, from those guys because, I mean, you got one of them that grew up in the 60s of Birmingham, Alabama. Right. And the other one grew up in the 40s of El Paso, Texas. Mm-hmm. So just the stories and stuff that I've heard. And I said the, the number one thing that both those guys had in common was the love that they had for their players and trying to, you know, teach them life experiences and get exactly. them in and out and – you know, anybody that's watched watched those guys when they were, you know, with the Arkansas Razorbacks was the theme was always those guys will run through a brick wall for their oh, coaches. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, yeah. and uh, on the flip side of that, those coaches would run through a Absolutely. brick wall for those kids. Yep. And so that's Absolutely. kind of the same environment that we've, you know, we've tried to create here. That's super dope. That's super dope. You got to have that buy-in, man. Like no when doubt. you love your players, man, they're going to love you. They're going to do whatever they need to do to get things done. That's right. what you gotta have, and I'm gonna tell you just, just, just to add the coach, man. When we talking about what coach do outside of basketball, it was a player that he was two years out of the program, and he really wasn't a big factor in the program when he was there as far as a basketball aspect. Yeah. But I don't know if coach remember this, but one of his players went to jail. I think it was in Lake City, and you called me, and coach was like, man, I got the money, B. I just need somebody to pick him up. Like to me, that was huge. Like That's this, big. this kid, it's two years out of his program. When he was in the program, he wasn't a major contributor to the program. Yeah, he didn't, right. really didn't play. Yeah, wow. really didn't play. But really. he called coach two years later, was in jail. Coach had sent the money, got him out of jail, man. To me, that's that big. means you really care about that's your big. players, man, even after the fact. Coach man, my son, <laughs> my son he played in the game with a 40 point lead. Because, as Coach Ty said before, <laughs> Bubba was kind of young. Mm-hmm. He hadn't grown into himself because he was, he, he, was, he was born early. So his birthday came early. So he really didn't grow into himself like to now. But he didn't play, but he loved Coach Period, man. Yeah. He loved Coach I mean, That style. group, you know, I've told people that group, because that was my first year. And, uh, you know, if you read a uh, – if you went and picked up a coach's one-on-one help book, how to start or turn around a program, I did basically probably everything backwards of what you would do. Because <laughs> really? we had – there was like – we had like ten seniors in that on that first team, and like seven of them didn't play. Wow. And so, like, wow. anywhere you go take over, like, they're going to tell you if you got seniors that have been a part of all this bad stuff mm-hmm. and they ain't going to play, you just get rid of them. But those kids, man, were just so excited about all the things that we were doing, the, the camps that we had been through over the summer. Like, you know, when I got here, we were wearing this baggy Russell crap hung yeah. down to your ankles. And, yeah. then, you know, now, I mean, you know, I mean, everywhere we go, I mean, you know, we 
We're going to be, saying. you know, <laughs> swagged out to the nine. And they were just excited. Yeah. They were excited to be a part of it. But on the flip side of that, like, I think there's a, another lesson to be learned in that is they had supportive parents that understood, like, yeah, my baby may not be in the best, but he's he's able to be a part of something special. That's what's up. And he's learning, you know, even though he's not getting to play, he's getting to learn what it takes to be successful. And all those kids, um, well, what? Wubba's graduating. Yep. AJ's graduating. Yep. We've already had two or three from that class yeah. graduating. Yep. And so, and like I said, I think there's five from that class that um, have graduated college, and four of those five didn't play. Right. Wow. 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 So, yes, sir. Well, let's so close we, tell us about the players here. Yeah. <laughs> Kyrie Carter here. Kyrie. Shamar Marshall. Shamar Marshall. Yeah. Good dudes. Man, good dude. Marshall. Man. Marshall special. Marshall was our player of the game. One of our player player of the game uh, was, for the classic, he man. man he, he's special he, though, man. On the on, I ain't mean to cut y'all, but he's special just on the strip, man. man. I've been knowing. I knew his daddy, man. His daddy was a special, special man yeah. to me, me in my too, heart, no my doubt. Too. That was my partner, man. Yeah, my partner. Shout out to Chris Marshall. Yeah, shout out to Chris. Chris man. Loves, man. Shout out. Yeah, no doubt. Tell us about him, coach. There's two good kids, man. Shamar, Kyrie, both kids that you know. You know, talent, athleticism has always been there. But, again, kind of like we talked about Travis and Makai, kids that, you know, have just stuck with the program and bought in, you know, to what it takes to, to be successful. And, uh, you know, I remember watching Shamar and them and TJ and them when they were in seventh and eighth grade. And, you know, you could see the see the athleticism, but, you know, there wasn't a whole lot of, of skill to them. You know, Shamar couldn't bounce it with his left hand without <laughs> going off his foot. And, you know, Kyrie was a kid that – um, came over for Kip, so I don't think I got to say much else after that. But, <laughs> you, you know, but guys that came, came, came in here and just put their head down and worked, no you know. That's and uh, Shamar is a guy that I stay on because, you know, he's been in the trenches with us since 10th grade. And, you know, I've kind of been on because in 10th grade, it, sometimes he when he was a 10th grader, sometimes he was like, the, the reason the voice of the reason in the locker room is a 10th grader and he could see like when those older kids were doing stuff that were taken away um from what we needed to, to do to be successful he was really? a lot of times as a 10th grader kind of the the voice the the reasoning the logic man be like man y'all know that's not right that's not that's why this and that's that and up, so man. i've really been on him as he's gotten older and uh because what a lot of people don't realize is a lot of people want to lead but they don't like the responsibilities that come with being Ooh, a leader. Being and good. so, you know, I look at him as, you know, one of, if not our main leader of the team because he knows what it takes. He's voiced it as young as a 10th grader. And, and so that's why I'm on him probably as harder, harder than anybody because I know that he knows what it takes. And he has – and he's not scared. He's not scared to speak the truth. Right. And so I'm – but I constantly stay on him about man trying to be the be the voice and keep talking, keep chirping, keep you know reinforcing the positive things. But like I said, just really proud of these guys. Obviously, Kyrie's role is tough because obviously his best position right now is probably at the five, and obviously we've we've got a pretty good five on our team, and there's not right. a, not a whole lot of minutes, and you, and he doesn't really know you know from game to game, am I going to get two or three minutes? Is my my number going to be called for ten or twelve minutes? Mm-hmm. And so. He's in that that tough spot of kind of being on standby, not knowing each game exactly what his role is going to be. But you know, so far when his number's been called, he's done a really good yeah. job, particularly uh, defensively up? and rebounding the basketball. Yeah. Uh, we just got to get him a little more versatile to where he, you know, he can play the four and play the five and uh, kind of be able to to be in the whole playbook. But but he's getting there, and like I said, we're going to continue to need him um, as the year goes on. Him and Billy stepped up uh, when we went to Brooklyn. You know, it's kind of been our biggest rival in conference. Rashad mm-hmm. picked up two fouls within 90 seconds, yeah. and kind of my rule is if we're within 10 and you got two fouls in the first half, we're saving you till the second half. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, those guys were able to come in and help us weather the storm. That's what's up. Yeah, but Kyrie, uh, Kyrie is one of our good brothers' uh, son, Pretty Ricky. Pretty Ricky. Shout out to Rick, you, you playing the five, Kyrie. Rick play like the two. He shoot that ball, man. We got you to shoot that ball like Rick, man. Like that. Shout out to Rick, man. Yeah, but what y'all guys got, man? You got tell us a little about your game, Kyrie. Kyrie and uh, Shamar, y'all y'all started with me with the Illinois Hood League too, then. Yeah. yeah. Who y'all? What team what's y'all up, man? Uh, who? You no, not the Spurs. The, uh, Y'all got to fight with y'all coat. Thunder. 
<laughs> y'all didn't get the final job coach, did y'all? Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> who, who was the coach? Oh, <laughs> look, look, what's that? Look, look, I ain't gonna say it. Never on, mind. On the podcast. Never mind. We're skipping. We're skipping. That's what they call it. Grizzly, he was on my team. Yeah. Yeah, I man, he yeah. don't even know he coached him. Hey, no, yeah, I yeah, don't, look, man. You know, I always been the overseer, man. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while, man. Like, you weren't coaching a while, B. Oh, yeah. B, right? He was the overseer. Yeah. He wasn't there. He, he <laughs> wasn't there. He, he wasn't coaching. <laughs> yeah, Kyrie, y'all tell us a little bit about your game, man. And how how y'all feel about the season yeah, how you so feel far, about the season man? Good. Starting off undefeated. They want to keep going. Yeah. Keep For sure. Trying to be in the same spot as last year at the end of the season, but this time we're trying to come and win. Your third. Already. Already, y'all gonna y'all gonna make it happen. We gonna make it happen. We were three points short last time, yep. three man. points short. Man. Yeah, man, that was we ain't gonna, gonna be short this against year. a nice team too. Yeah, yeah, a, a nice team against a nice team because we were nice too. Sure. Yeah, sure. Sure. yeah. Jamal, how you feel about? I mean, your role and uh, you know what I'm saying. What you got? The responsibility you got as a senior. My role stepped up a lot from last year. Last year I was just the person that just. I'm just there, you know. I'm just there to keep everything glued together. Mm -hmm. This year is way bigger because last year I had two guards under me too. Yeah. So I was really like playing like almost three, yeah. two. This year I'm like the two backup point guards, so it's like more responsibility. But I'm glad I got the seniors on my team this year. So it's a lot easier. Yeah. It's a lot easier when you got a, a yeah. whole team that's grinding. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what's up, man. Yeah, Shamar, you almost got us. You almost got us arrested at that game. What, what's the game, uh, coach? They had the, at the uh, at the classic. Man, what was that team? Uh, oh, uh, yeah, uh, Springdale <laughs> Harbor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Harbor. Yeah, man, we trying to we call it out to the back. They said, "Person right coming or uh, Coach Fish." I'm like, "Hello, oh, man." All these police <laughs> come back there with their flashlights. <laughs> Flashlight cops, man. No flashlight cops came back there. He had a big game, though, boy. Yeah, he had a big game. Big game. Yeah. Huge game. You big talking game. the one with the walkie talkies? No, I'm talking about the one. <laughs> man, but no, yeah, man. Y'all yeah. really been showing. Y'all been showing out for the home team, man. Y'all yeah. made us really proud to support, yeah. man. No support doubt, the man. Chiefs, man. Yeah, I, I say this all the time. I was telling Spain. Out of one thing, you know, we get a lot of negative in Blabble. We all get time. a lot of negative press. A lot of negative. We get, they say this about our schools. They say this. But one thing they cannot talk about is our basketball program. Man. We want to appreciate Facts. you for that, Coach. Ever since you got here, man, you have came and invested your own funds. Man, that's been A whole dope. lot of time. And I say, man, to turn the, turn the, turn the image around of Blabble, one thing nobody can say anything bad about is the Blabble basketball program. Yes, and they yeah. better not. Nobody. You know what I'm saying? What they wrote, they, they better not. They better not. Yeah. Hey, uh, one thing I tell Shamar all the time, I tell him about they got y'all got a lot of eyes on y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like all these kids coming up, they looking at y'all and what y'all do. You know what I'm saying? So y'all just man, keep doing what you're doing. Tread lightly, stay focused, and stay on the correct path. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna be very successful this year. Man, big shout out to y'all. We appreciate y'all, man. We gotta give a shout out to. Uh, uh, go ahead, uh, Kyrie and, 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 and Shamar, y'all. While we go to, we're gonna pause. I'm gonna give you another chop of the side time. Hey, man, appreciate y'all, man. Appreciate Come on, Key and Rashad. You, sure. We'll start the clip back after they give it up. You can get you another. Y'all uh, get one, no, for real. Give, give me, me one, one too. <laughs> give me, it's another one over there. Give me one, too. Uh, yeah, give me one, too. What's up, baby boy? You ready to talk today? Nah. You ready to Key, talk what's today? up, man? We should have split them up. <laughs> <laughs> split them up. Don't damn one of them like talking. Man, Key don't talk on the court, so you know he, he, he don't. He definitely don't like yeah, talking. Yeah, Key be talking, so gotta talk he, don't, he, don't, he don't like He talk. likes talking until it's time to talk. <laughs> Y'all ready? Let's go. Oh. Are we ready? You ready now? Yeah, it's on us. Yeah, we ready. Right, we back. Man, we got Key. <laughs> Keyshawn Washington and Rashad Marshall. Happy birthday, Key. Your birthday was yesterday, wasn't it? Birthday yesterday? Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, man. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. How old Happy are you birthday. turning? 18. 18. 18. You, you legal so, in some way, but you're not legal in another way. Right? <laughs> <laughs> the Big Shaw, what's happening, man? Talk Cyclone. My boy. Coach, man, tell, tell us something about these sir. two players right here. Well, Big Shaw. They're both really good, I can tell you that. <laughs> uh, you know, they always say, you know, you can have a – you can have a, a really good team if you have a good point guard or if you have a good big man. And they you say both. you can have a special, special team when you, you got, got both. both. And yeah. we dang sure got both. That's and, what's up, uh, you know, they're special kids. Uh, both their situations are, are, are very different. But um, 
both did not start out in the Bible School District right, yeah. and uh, ha- have wound up here for uh, to better their families. And uh, both of them have been great assets to the team. Absolutely. Uh, obviously, Rashad, you know, has signed the first Power Five uh, scholarship. Wow. I tell coaches all the time, um, you know, when we talk about, about Keyshawn, and of course, you know, everybody's scared of, you know, a little five, seven point guard, but coaches, I tell them, I'm like, well, look, if he was six feet tall, you wouldn't be able to get him because yeah. he'd be going to Arkansas or Duke or yeah, North like Carolina, yeah. you know, and so. Uh, just having a true point guard who doesn't, you know, really doesn't. And both these guys think that, you know, obviously, Shad scores a lot of points, but he's also a tremendous passer and yeah. playmaker yes. for yeah, us. And, absolutely. You know, sometimes I get mad at him because the double team will come, but there's two, you know, six-foot kids that look like me uh, <laughs> trying to double team him, and he could stand up there and score it, but instead he's kicking it Passing. out to Shamar or mm-hmm. TJ Cutting and – and Keyshawn's the same way, you know. We were, he was kind of cooking up against his old school against Four yeah, City, yes, and, uh, yes, and uh, he. Uh, but his, his attention turned quickly to uh, not trying to score yeah. score points. He we, wanted to get a double double. We and, noticed that too. We talked about that <laughs> on the side. Then we said it. I think he yeah. had a, he had a stretch where he three out of four games, including that game, he had a double double. And Shout I mean out. that's a that's a hard thing to do in high school basketball. Yeah. So. Uh, He's both these guys have fit in really well, and obviously Keyshawn having we run a few more plays over here than in the city, don't we? And so <laughs> he's uh, he's picked up on it really quick though, and has done a really good job uh, uh, steering the ship. So we're fortunate to have both these guys. Yes, sir. Yeah, we are too. We for uh, Keyshawn, man. We was talking about him. Like man, Keyshawn's so unselfish. Man, yeah, man. So, sometimes so he's unselfish. too unselfish. Yeah, yeah, I said, yeah. Man, he too yeah. unselfish. Shoot, why? why he, Man, I'll be letting the thing ride. Man, he man, came like, out of school. Hold on. <laughs> hey, didn't he come out of school like 11 real quick or something man, he like that? He stole something real he quick. Kicking and, it out. and then he just stopped shooting. Yeah. I was like, man, you could have went for 30. <laughs> for yeah. real easy. But uh, like ain't nothing wrong involved. with it. It's good like to be your unselfish. Yeah. 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 It's good, but. Mm-hmm. But, man. hey, when it's your time, it's your time, man. And they understand that. For yeah. real, for real. Man, shoot. Big shot. What's up, man? What's, up with What's going on, man? How let us tell us a little song. What's going on? How it feel tell to be an old miss, a, 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 a power rebel. five sign, man. man? I feel great, man. You know, uh, blessed to have, man. You know, key God for it. Yes, that's right. You know, just. They've been trying to work since I've been down here. Yeah, man, we know you. Uh, you lost your dad, uh, yes, and I know a lot of your Facebook posts we be following. You, you, you uh, attribute a lot and contribute a lot to your dad, man. Oh, sure. yeah. So we want to say, like we were telling TJ earlier, man, we know if your dad was living, man. I know your daddy too, but uh, if your dad was living, we know he'll be proud of you. Very bro. proud. Yeah, we know Very he'll be proud. proud of you, man. Most definitely. You see your gang stepped up since you've been uh, here. Yeah, that's what's up, man. That's big, Real man. Good, you know, man, y'all, y'all some awesome basketball players, man. Both of y'all, a shy man. Where you see yourself ending up at? I don't even know probably when I get to college, probably uh, one or two years. I'll try to go see how it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> play, on, play on numbers, hey man, play on you, numbers, man. You, hey, you can get six nine, man. Another, you know what I'm saying? Meaning, yeah, another meaning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Y'all be hooping, man. Y'all That's excited? What's up, man? Y'all twelve and old, man. Uh, what y'all think? Y'all think y'all going all the way undefeated? Yeah, you know, one step at a time. Yes, sir. You know, we're gonna be there, though. That's what's up. Oh, we believe y'all gonna be there. Oh, yeah, we believe we are gonna yeah. be there with y'all. For sure. Yes, it's love, uh, support. Yes, sir. We gonna be ready this time. Yes, oh, man. Hold on, you saying you were not ready in the chest? Oh, okay, okay, I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, okay. But this time, you know who got to be ready? The fans got to be ready. Hey, we got to be there. We got to be there. Hey, hey, man, we apologize to y'all, man, for last time, yes. man, because we was – Scattered everywhere. We was done. We, we, we were scattered everywhere. Man, those did us bad, though. Man, yeah. They, they came there probably six, five games early and got all the seats. Man, man, we coming so, a day early. So when y'all watch this – What a camera When y'all watch this, man, look, we in the state. Do we know when the state is right now? March. In March. Man, look. Blyville, Chickasaw. We got to get there two days early. <laughs> two days early, man. We got to get all the rooms so we can get all the seats. We can sit together so when we holler, these boys can hear us, man. Yes, we can't be scattered out this time. Yeah.
Yeah, we, we ain't know nothing about it. It's been so long since we've yeah. been. Magnolia knew how to do it. Yeah, they, they had they had the root. They beat it every year, so they knew they knew what to do. They, <laughs> they wouldn't even give us a seat, man. Like, man, come on, let's get by our bench, man. They wouldn't even yeah. give us a seat, man. That's man. Not, not how long it's been since we won state again? Oh five, man. Chris Evans, oh six, oh six, oh six. 06. 06. We do yeah. against Magnolia. Against, against Magnolia, we do, man. So, coach, yeah. tell us about the overall of the team. Is this your most balanced team that you can coach? Tell, yeah, tell yeah I think that. so. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, from the standpoint of, you know, just the guard play and the post play, I mean, and, and the thing about it is, um, I mean, we've got several post players that, you know, any other year that I would have been here probably would have been would have been starters. Mm-hmm. So, you know, we're deep in the post. We've got a lot of really good guards, and, and all the guards kind of bring – I think the thing about it is it just the, the – like the roster, particularly the starting five and the guys off the bench, like they, their games just all complement each mm-hmm, other mm-hmm, so well. Mm-hmm. Um, having a true point guard, having uh, multiple shooters, you know, and, and Beans and Schmar in the first group, but they both kind of they both kind of do things differently too. Mm-hmm. And then having TJ kind of being a guy that can bump from inside out and the shot's gotten a lot better. And then the big fella, and then like I said, having Travis who can shoot and space the floor and be a, a multiple uh, – Guy uh, defensively and offensively, and Makai being able to, you know, come in and handle the ball can relieve Keyshawn a little bit, or now it frees him up to kind of get off the ball and look for his shot a little more. And uh, like I said, even having like guys like Gigi who come in and and stretch the floor, and and Billy Davis who, you know, we talk about all the time is a, just a, I mean, he's a high level athlete. Yeah. I mean, he's. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he, the boy can run and jump with the best of them, just having his energy available uh, if needed. And so I just think the pieces fit, you know, really well and complement each other in, in a yeah. special way. And uh, I think that's a big key. And it's hard. And, and, you know, to me, the thing, the two things that I worry about the most between now and the end of the season um, from within is just complacency and just feeling, you know, you, you can never get to that point in basketball where you feel like you can't be beat. That's right, yeah. And, that's and right. you know, we talked we talk you about, know. you know, in our conference, we know at times, like, there's going to be games where we're going to be heavy favorites, and that's been my message to them is, like, we're not just getting ready for those conference games, though. Like, we're getting ready for the bigger picture. So we got to we got to continue, you know, every day to show up and, and work hard and go about our business. Because in basketball, you either get better or you get worse each day. There's yeah, no right. staying the same. And if you think things are going to stay the same, then, then you're going to go backwards. Gotcha. So you've got to continue to, to strive to get better each and every day. And I think so far, for the most part, um, we've handled that part pretty well. And then, you know, the second thing is just kind of – I worry about – and this is going to sound kind of – harsh or whatever, but kind of the outsiders, the adults. Gotcha. Um, you know, you got a lot of adults that they ain't ever been around trying to get in kids' ears, and sometimes yeah. it's even it's even parents who don't understand. Because here's the deal. All these right. kids that are sitting in here all get along with each other really well. That's good. And, you know, and I think all understand what's going on, you know, when it comes game time and, and what's best for the team to win. But, you know, sometimes adults like to interfere with youth sports yeah. when they really don't don't need to be and get in the kids ear who knows like I know that I probably shouldn't be playing or if I do it should be limited minutes but then you know you go all summer and all fall and they're okay with that but then all of a sudden we we get in a gym and their girlfriend and grandma and uncle comes and watch them play and now they're in their ear you know why aren't you playing you're better than him and then you know sometimes that can come back to practice so my biggest deal is just hopefully you know all adults will continue to be supportive because when you're a really good team Everybody has to sacrifice when right. you got good players, you know, and we have, I mean, we've got, I mean, dang near every guy that steps out on the floor could probably go for 20, wow. you know, every night at a different school, but it can't be that way. And that's what makes us hard to stop because I think we've had five different guys go for 20. Well, what are you going to key in on? Man. You know, defensively, Man. what are you going to try? Are you going to you gonna put, try to put two and three guys on Rashad that's like you did last theme, year? Because – now you've got four guys that can burn you from deep. Yes, you know, yeah. if you try to play straight up and double him on the catch, well, who are you going to leave open? And so, you know, those are things I don't think outsiders, like we don't game plan before the game, like who's going to score mm-hmm. how many points. Mm-hmm. We just play off each other, and however it happens is, is how it happens. Right, right. And so I think that's the beauty of our team is because, I mean, you know who's good, but you don't know how, you don't know how we're going to beat you when that ball goes in there, because we really don't know either. We're right, just, right. We're just <laughs> playing off. We're just playing yeah, basketball yeah. and just that's trying to make ball, a good – Yeah, we're just yeah. trying to make the right basketball play and trust, and trust the guy that's open. So, 
um, that's my biggest thing is just keeping the outside people on the outside and just not being complacent. Mm-hmm. Man, that's amazing, Coach. Well, we're going to go – we're going to pause and go to our last commercial. And at the end, come back, we're going to have Coach Close remarks. We'll be back to y'all in a second. Hey, what a word. It's your boy, Preacher Boy, man. I had to pause a second and let you know that this episode of Real Talk Barbershop 870 is sponsored by no other than Impeccable Cuts. Listen, you heard me right. Impeccable Cuts. If you got a big day coming up and you need to look and feel your best, be sure to book with Impeccable Cuts and jump in that hot seat, man. Treat yourself by booking your next chop, your hot towel experience, or even your relaxing facial at bookthecut.co slash preachboy. That's bookthecut.co slash preachboy. All the information, the address, and the phone number on the screen, man. Listen, if you need to look your best, do your job and book, and I'll do the rest. Get Impeccable. Yo, 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 this your boy BB, the motivator. And this episode of Real Talk Barbershop 870 is sponsored by the Lispy Insurance Group, where we make your personal lines and your commercial lines come together to decrease your risk. Look, I'm at a new location, 801 West Moultrie in the magnificent city of Bryville, Arkansas. Here's my number, 870-623-4742. I repeat, 870-623-4742. If you're not with G.I.G., see ya, and I wouldn't want to be. Yeah. We back, we back, we back. <laughs> I got one more question before, he before, we, go, that. before we close it out. Go ahead, Joe. Uh, what you see after basketball for a lot of your players? Do you see a lot of your players going to college and different things of that nature there? Well, I hope so. Mm-hmm. I mean, like I said, I think a lot of that's up to them. I mean, we've got the connections, and we'll have the opportunities, and these guys know. I mean, I – not including this year's senior class. I mean, I believe we've had over 20 guys since I've been here been offered uh, basketball scholarships. Wow. 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 We've got wow. five guys that are still playing right now. And we so, you know, my our thing is if you want to play, there's somewhere out there for you. Yes. Now, Absolutely. it may be in Timbuktu, yes, sir. you know, how bad do you want it? Mm-hmm. But one thing we're not afraid to do is when the season's over, hit the pavement and take them to as many places as we can till we, till we find them. Uh, somewhere to play but you know my main thing is with these guys is regardless of the basketball you know I just want them to be uh, successful citizens one day I want them to become great fathers great like husbands that uh, that's the like main that. thing to me I mean I want to see them graduate I, I you know I've told them a, a hundred times since I've been here I would trade every single win that I've ever had if it meant that all these guys turned out to be successful and went on to have successful lives you know outside of basketball and I, and I truly mean that so so I think the world of all these guys, um, we talk about it all the time as a team. It's us versus us. And for a lot of these kids, it's them versus them. And it's just that I, I truly believe they can do whatever they want to do. Yes, sir, Coach. Well, Coach yes, go ahead, we go. You can go ahead and close out, Coach. Give us your last remarks, man, on the season, your time, your tenure here in Blob, or however you want to close it out. I just I appreciate y'all having us. Like I said, uh, you know, I've had a lot of speaking engagements lately. Uh, as far as me and my family, it's been our seventh year here and uh, I can't tell you uh, how thankful we are the Bible community I mean we felt the love from day one and continue to feel it and uh, just continue to show up and support these guys it means a lot you know when we walk out there and that arena's rocking or we're on the road and we're deep and we're loud and so that's the main message a team like this don't come around you know every few years and uh, you know although we're good every year and we plan on being good next year and the year after and the year after that but we got a special opportunity and it's always helpful to have people in there with eyes on us cheering us on so just keep supporting make sure we support chick nation what's baby. up man hey don't y'all don't get it twisted we don't chick us all baby don't get it twisted man we don't chick us all man we don't make it all for them chicks man yeah 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 Y'all ain't know I gonna do that this <laughs> We like that. We like that. <laughs> we been so quick on our feet. We want that ball back. Uh, we come with all that. We press hard with all that. We don't crack and they call that. Keep shot on the five seven and still make a play on the talk. That boy TJ know it be ready. His gang gets much respect. Where you at, Shabba? Who else we got? He on the wing. Don't play him across here, do you? Yeah, it's about to be a movie. For sure, we got Pierce and Pierce, so it be coach. Big Travis, don't be joking. And we got Big Play making hands. I see you. I see you.
Win, lose, or draw. Scratch that we plan on winning. Win, lose, or draw. Scratch that we plan on winning. On the big old pound of stems. Yeah. Can't no play some ball. Tell me what you know about the chicken song. Yes, sir. <laughs> Let's yeah, go, it's bro. your boy Rope. It's your boy Preach Boy Span. It's your boy BB the Motivator. And I am JR, aka Mr. Rogers. And we yeah. are the live with Chicken Sauce. You tune in to the Real Talk Barbershop 870. Let's yes, go. Sir. You did. Yes, sir. Shout out to them Chicken Sauce. Shout out to them Chicken Sauce. What's happening, y'all? This your boy, Ro. And this episode of RTB 870 is sponsored by Jacob's Lawn Service. We licensed and insured. We do commercial and residential. When you don't want to get out there and cut that grass, give your boy that cash. Hey, and we got affordable prices. We're here to take care of all your lawn needs. So give your boy a call at 870-740-8534. That's 870-740-8534. You did.